Here we're going to talk about two things, saved states and checkpoints or snapshots. First, saved states. If I'm in Hyper-V and I just click on a machine, or I should say right click on a machine, one of the options I have is save. If I click save, what's going to happen is that machine will actually shut down, but it will remember the state that it's in. In other words, if it's in the middle of running a program, that program will stop dead cold, but when I start it back up, it will pick up where it left off. This is very much like the Hibernate option in Windows. So you can, if you turn on Hibernate capabilities, you can have the machine shut down, but then when you bring it back up, it comes back up exactly running the programs it was running when it shut down. That's what this save does. It's a save state. Checkpoints. Now, checkpoints are the same as in other hypervisors, what's called snapshots. So you may remember in our virtual box, uh, let's get out of that. In our virtual box, we had these snapshots. And I can click snapshot and take a snapshot, and that will save all of this information about what that virtual machine is like at that moment in time. And then I can continue to do some things and change it and revert back. Let's say I install some software and the software crashes the machine. No problem. I can simply go back to a snapshot like this. Click restore and it will restore that machine to that snapshot. There we go. I just restored it to the before module for testing snapshot. In fact, I can get rid of these snapshots in between here if I want to, and it doesn't hurt anything. I can just delete those and take those right out. So I can put this in whatever state I want to and get rid of the snapshots that were in between. Let's get rid of this number three there, and let's get rid of this snapshot two there. So now we're right back to where I was before I started testing module four stuff. That's snapshots in VirtualBox. However, in Hyper-V, we call them checkpoints. And there are two types of checkpoints. Standard checkpoints are checkpoints just like the ones in VirtualBox in that they, they do save the state of the machine. For this reason, by the way, I always recommend when you take a snapshot, whether it be in Hyper-V or in VirtualBox, that you take that snapshot with the machine turned off. It does, you can take a snapshot with the machine turned on, but it will attempt to, to save the state of running programs. I have seen more VirtualBox machines crash, and VMware for that matter, uh, crash because of saving the state. In other words, making a snapshot with the virtual machine running. And almost every time I teach a class where we have virtual machines, somebody takes snapshots with the machine running and corrupts their machine and has to start all over again from lab one in order to get their machine ready again. Don't do that. But standard uh, checkpoints you can take with the machine running or with the machine turned off. But if you take it with the machine running, you're going to be taking it with the state of that machine as it is at that moment with it running. A production checkpoint is very similar to stopping a, uh, a machine and then taking a snapshot. So in other words, this gives us that capability of a snapshot of that point in time, but not with everything running without having to turn the machine off. Whereas in VirtualBox, I would recommend that you turn the machine off like down here, I have DC4 running. I would not want to take a snapshot here. I would want to turn that machine off first and then take my snapshot. Even though it's certainly possible, as you can see with it running here, it's certainly possible for me to take it like this. This would be the same as a standard snapshot or a standard checkpoint, I should say, in Hyper-V. Whereas when I turn it off first and then take a snapshot, that would be similar to a production checkpoint in Hyper-V.